How to create an animated like button where the user can unlike and also like. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's use this package like button to create an animated like button where the icon is animated and also here the text is animated. Therefore, let's get started within the build method where we create then this like button which comes from this package. And with this, you have here this heart and if you click on it, then you have here this heart animation and you can also unselect it. To create this animated like text, we want to add here two fields. One is the boolean field is liked and the other one the like counter itself. And we also want to put them inside of our state. And now if I hot reload, you see here this counter on the right side and if I click on it, it's even animating. If you want to change the look and feel of this animation, you can also supply here the like builder and here you get then the state if the heart is liked or not. And based on it, you can then display an icon. So in my case, I display here a favorite icon and I set a grayish color. And now if I click here on this heart, you see we have every time the same grayish color for our heart. Secondly, you can also define here the count builder. And here inside you can also manipulate then the style of this counter. So in this case I put here a text widget inside and make it bigger. And here you get then three things. You get the counter as an integer and the counter as a text representation as a string. And you also get here the boolean field if it is liked this heart or not. So in our case we access then here the text because this is basically also the counter only as a text representation. And now if I hot reload, you see that our counter is bigger. If you like, you can also add here some more space between your icon and your text, like you can see here in this example. And to do this, you can simply add here this padding and I set it to 12 pixels. And now if I hot reload, we have here more space between. All right, so we have here a basic counter. However, it is now here everything grayish. And therefore we can also go here back to our like builder And instead of always putting here a grayish color inside, you can take then this is liked boolean field and then you set, for example, the color to red. And the same you can also do within your count builder. So based on this liked field, you can also change then the text color, for example, to black. All right, let's try it out. So here we have then a black color and a red color. And if I unselect it again, then we have again the grayish color. Normally, if you click on this like button, then you want to send a request to the server that the user has liked, for example, a post or some content within your application. And this is what you can then do here inside of this on tap handler. And here you get then every time the state if it was liked or not. And this is basically the old state and you return here then the new state. So you simply negate it. And secondly, based on this boolean field, you can then also update here this counter and also this boolean field. And this is really important to update here these two fields because if I click here on this button, so we are now here at 18 and now if I hot reload my application, so if you would call a set state, then he would reset here this counter and this is not what you want to have. And therefore it is important to update your state. So here we update our boolean field is liked within our state. And secondly, we update here then the like counter within our state. And now if I click here on this like button and I hot reload my application, then you see that the counter stays here at this position. Next, we want to make our example more interesting. So we also include here this button around. And if we then click on it, then we also change here the background color of our button. Before we do this, I also want to mention for this like button, you need to go also to your pubspec jumble file and here under your dependencies, you need to include then this like button. And secondly, it is also important to mention that you can then do here within this on tap handler your request to the server because this function is also async. So you can do here your server request. To do this is pretty simple. So you simply wrap around your like button another widget, which is the outline button from the Flutter SDK. And here you can also give it then a width for your button. So in this case, 160 pixels. And with this, we have already here this outline around our button. And next we want to set then the background color of our button. So if it is liked our button, then we want to set a reddish background color. Otherwise we want to have no background color. So let's try it out. So I click here on this button and you see nothing is happening. And this is because we also need to rebuild here our UI. 
So if it was liked, then we need to rebuild our UI and this is what we are doing here inside of this on tap handler. However, before we update here our background color, first of all, I want to include some padding so that we have here more space around our button. And secondly, you also need to include here then an animated duration, which we later want to access. And this animation duration, you can then define here at the top within your build state. So our animation should go here for 500 milliseconds. And now what we want to do is we want to go inside of our on tap handler and here inside we want to call then our future delayed and here after our animation is done, we want to call then the set state to update our UI. And now we can try it out. So I click here on this button and you see it will also change here then the color every time if you click on this button. The only problem with this solution right now is if I go here up and I increment here the time, for example, to one and a half seconds. And now I click here on this button, then you see after one and a half seconds, our button turns into this color. And maybe you want to change this color, this background color immediately. And this looks then much better. All right, let's put it again to 500 milliseconds. And secondly, we want to go then here to our like button and here around we want to wrap then this ignore pointer widget. And with this, every time if we now click here on this button, this on tab handler is ignored. So let's try it out. I click here on this button and you see nothing is happening because this on tab handler is not called anymore. We want to go to our like button and here inside we want to create a key. And this key we want to create then here within our state. So we create here a global key of like button state so that we can access the state of this like button. And lastly, we want to go to the on press handler of our outline button. And here inside we want to call then our on tap method. This is basically the on tap method from our like button. So over this key, we access now this like button and then we call here the on tap method. So we basically call here exactly this method. And now if I click here on this button, you see that our animation is again working. Next, we create then here a Boolean field has background and with this we can later toggle then the background color of our button. So if it has here this reddish color or not. To toggle this has background field, we go then again to our on press handler and here inside we put then our light state inside of this has background. Notice that we negate here our is like state and this is because this on tap handler is later changing this is like state and therefore we want to work here already with the right is like state. All right. And lastly, we want to go here to this background color and we want to replace our liked field by this has background boolean field. So let's now test it out. I click on this button and you see he is always changing the background color immediately. The only problem is that the text is not animating anymore. And to fix this, you can simply put between your set state method call and this on tap handler call some delay. So here we wait for 100 milliseconds. And now we can try it again out. I click on this button and you see that also the text is animating and the background color is also changing every time immediately. And lastly, we have another issue and this is what you can see if you click here a lot of times on this button and then you go sometimes into the state where the heart is liked. However, we don't see the background color and this is wrong. And you can also go sometimes in this state that you have here the background color even if our heart is deactivated. And to fix this issue, you can simply go here down to this on tap handler and here you need to change then basically this implementation of the set state. So you also put here every time the like state again to this has background field so that this is always correctly updated. All right, let's try it again out. So you can click here multiple times on this button and you wouldn't see this issue anymore. Let's also look at how we can customize here this animation. So here you see some animation and some colors. So here you have different colors for this animation and this is what you can basically change. So simply go here to this like button and here you can then set all the different colors. So you can set here the circle color and the bubble colors. And I have put them here right now to blue and the other ones to green. So let's try it again out. I click here on this button and you see we have here the green color and in the middle we have also this bluish color. And this is basically what you can then define here with these colors. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. 
And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.